Oloba was. She hold Joseph Oloba for 10 minutes. That gives us a glimpse that she already aware. And when they got to the house around 9.30 to 10 p.m. on Tuesday as well, this woman refused to go into Mubad house of 170 million. What has she done again? During the time, the whole world is crying. What happens to Mubad? This Mama Mubad, a boss a day, hide close to two weeks when the whole world was screaming what happens to mobad this woman did not come out to the public until close to two weeks before she came and made a video that they asked her or they advised her not to come to the public what kind advice was that that's another red flag when you lost your son you are not the one that killed your son and they now ask you not to come to the public when the whole world was crying that's another red flag from mama mobad what happened what part has she played again during the time the lawyer charge and bail lawyer Falade made mention that they are going to have a family meeting this woman deceived joseph oloba that she's in ikurudu that rosha the personal assistant who happens to be a younger brother of mama mobad that there's no car she's it's not feeling fine that she's in ikurudu why this woman mama mobad a boss said it, she was at mobat's house for eight to nine days holding a meeting that should be a red flag what she is doing there without joseph oloba and she lies to joseph oloba that's another red flag from mama mobad what part has she play as well she has came out hustle and tell the whole world she has been to the commissioner of police of lagos state that oh they should come and take the body of mubad they've done with the autopsy they should go and bury mubad What part has she played? She has came out on numerous times on social media to come and rubbish those who are seeking for justice for her son and also to bash Joseph Oloba. What role has she played? She has put a phone call through to Joseph Oloba. She has put a phone call through to a brother of Baba Mubad, Mr. Mewa, and left a voice note. What role has she played? She has done a video by telling the whole world that Leanne, that innocent child, belonged to Mubad. And when we look, all the parts Mama Mubad have played on this justice for Mubad. I can tell you with my own school of thoughts. All what she has been saying is opposite to justice for her son. And this is where I'm going to conclude that Mama Mubad, she's anti-justice. Either she has been affected by the fat cheats, whatsoever you want to call it, you want to call it, she is anti justice. I have not seen her playing the role of a good mother. 
And what I would just say at this junction is this. That justice is just around the corner there. It's just around the corner there. We mean we talk. Just like my dear friend used to say, Yuck. Wumi Kunshomali, she's not a bastard. Wumi we talk. And once again, thank you for listening. Thank you, all the gifter and the host. Thank you once again for allowing me to speak on your platform. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Andy. Thank you for that um, summary. I'm trying to touch on several topics. Um, even uh, Mr. I mean, even talking about uh, Mubat's mother. I kind of listened to Breketa family yesterday, and um, I also listened today. I sh I heard of the story of that particular lady who shared a story uh, of how her mother, you know does did so many things to her why how she had to go and stay with people when they were calling her witches 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 how some set of people you know she went to live among you know thieves and um the likes and stuff like that then when the lady was talking about the mother how the mother used to curse her how the mother sent her away from the house how the mother did all manner of things i don't know how many people actually uh, i mean saw the the program yesterday then i began i remembered the person of mobad's mother which is why i want to say this that no mobad's mother is not actually is not under the influence of any juju mobad's mother is not under the influence of any voodoo mobad's mother is actually doing what she knows that she is doing it is not that one person is actually controlling mobad's mother she know what she's doing. She know what is in it. What is in it for her? So that's the reason why I think that she is. You know, I think that she is not under the influence of anything. And um, you know, I wouldn't want to say uh, if if I'm to say something, it would look like a too much of disrespect to an adult. But the way it is looking now, um, I, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say this. You know, times without number. I have said it on this platform, and I will continue to say that. You know, all the story that Mobat's mother and Wumi, whatever it is that they will come out and say, I'm telling you, they are birds of the same feather. They flock together, they eat together, they live together, they were born together, they have the same nature and everything. Fine, sir. So, what of the. I will send it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, they have everything, all manner, of, they, they share the same nature, they share everything. They are birds of the same feather and the flock together if you see a definitely you're gonna see b if you see b definitely you're gonna see a why did i say that you know i i, I said it that see when the woman came out gracie when the woman came out and she said she was praying i can categorically tell you that that woman was never praying she was never never praying about anything but let me say it humorously that i saw M mubat's mom the younger sister for Lashadi, if I'm right, I think that's the name. And I thought to myself, maybe that is the woman Mubat's father should have actually gotten married to. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking in in my in, with my big head. I'm thinking. Why did you think what? that, ma? Why did you think that? So, because when you look at this woman, the way the woman comes out and the woman talks. The kind of the, when, when she talks from all of the videos that this woman has actually released, you could see that this is a mother. You could see that if this happened to that particular woman, which I don't pray it happened to her, she's not going to lose any of her children. As a matter of fact, God is going to add more to her. I perceive in my own opinion that if this thing actually happened to that woman, this woman is not going to take it lightly with anybody. So mm -hmm. in, in my big head and my in my you know I, I was thinking wait probably this is the person that Papa Mubad should have actually gotten married to yes probably Papa Mubad is actually destined to marry in that family but you know the, the story of um Jacob when Jacob requested for this yeah and um the, the father in law gave him gave him this 
and he needed to work another period of time to be able to get what she actually wanted maybe that is what played oh 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 god in, uh, do you know what thing i believe eh? mobile mother is after money okay when he leave when he leave Mubam, uh, father he went to marry native daughter where he can see fowl to be eaten every day no say so native daughter they used to keep fowl every day so he went there and uh, mobile mother was still with the man when you know that mobile have money you have to go want to go back to mobile's father again so that woman is after money okay. it's they used to call those kind of woman bombita those people they like to drink bombita with milk every morning but they don't have it Mobile mother can sell, he can even sell a dura because of money. Because if you see when he's crying, he say, Oh, what did my mom yo? What did my mom yo? Oh no, my fool me five million. Oh, oh my ultimate is to make a fool me. He don't even say, he don't even cry. He don't even cry. He was talking about five million. I said, What? Ah, he's not going to say, Ah, what did my mom Only five million. Move, move, fool me five million. For your own picking when you born. Now that 5 million one week and up, 20 million, 30 million, billion can over wake that side. So you are talking of 5 million. Is that 5 million paying you now? Your man didn't cry, I didn't sit here, so. If they wanted that woman to, if like, if um, Larry Mali tell that they, they, they should sell Mubai, you do man will sell Mubai. Because woman is after money. It's not after the boy dead. So they don't make agreements. They don't give a own percentage when you're going to take for Mubai property. Now agreement they deal with Bumi Day agreements now. Okay, but eh uh, mama, that she buy she buy you, mama logo buy you, buy you, buy you, every every month. It's agreements. But anyway, the cop will fool. The cop don't they fool. Only say don't, you know people you know who fail us, the police people fail us. But we don't confess already. We don't have good police people. So make sure that your security is paramount to the whole world and including of your son Lehan. and also through that press release of yesterday you have called for a court order regarding to the paternity of your son well Umi is right at your doorstep now we don't want to have more explanation on that either you call for it or you don't call for it either you will do it or you will do it but the law have taken over now the dna that you've been running away for for the last three to four months is under most now you will do it either you like it or not majority of us we believe in that paternity of that innocent child that is going to lead us to what kill mobad and what was the motive behind of killing of Mo? Now, we need to go ahead from Wumi. Now, we want to put you aside. And the old miss, the old, uh, the host made mention of Mama Mubad that we should analyze Mama Mubad I will try my best to analyze Mama Mubad in my own little words now what impact or action Mama Mubad or what part has she played since September 11, 2023. Mama Mubad have told us through series of video, at least on three occasions, that her son 
was killed through her own statements. Her son was killed. She believed that the demise of her son is not a natural death. She believed that he was killed when 11th of September 2023. What else, what part has Mama Mobad play in all this issue? Um, can you give me 30 seconds, please? Okay, no problem, sir. No problem. We'll give you 30 seconds now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for still standing by for justice for Mobad. And I want to appreciate every one of us. And I'm why we are also listening to the submission of uh, Mr. Andy. I want us to also have it at the back of our mind that the justice that we are looking for is not something that is far away. We are looking at this justice, you know, it's very, very near and it's very, very close. So if I have something to say now, it is that I want to tell us not to give up. I want to tell us not to relent. And I want to tell us that we should focus on um, what the agenda, what the aim is, and that is justice for mobile. And if you are joining us for the first time on this planet, I mean, on this platform, sorry, I said on this planet. <laughs> Maybe I, I was just thinking of going to Pluto or Mars. <laughs> Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you are joining us for the first time on this platform, here, what we do, just like so many other amazing platforms, is that we talk about justice for mobile. And we do it in such a way that, <laughs> we do it in such a way that we, you know, I said on Mr. Arifa's platform yesterday that, we are the ones that are actually doing the job of the police. It is the job that the police are supposed to do that we are actually doing. You understand? We are taking it upon ourselves to... Okay, no problem, Mr. Andy. We are taking it upon ourselves, yeah, to go ahead and do the job that the police... I mean, the police are supposed to be doing. And it's kind of... It's kind of amazing that they are not even seeing the effort of the general public because the police you know through one of their pro you know some couple of weeks ago at the bracket family said categorically that the people we on the social media yeah we are just playing we are just you know some of them are using it to cash money some of them are using it to not knowing well that we brought this case we gave this case we gave it light we brought we in less than four hours in less than three hours you already know these people and you claim you don't hey big c my sister thank you for joining you don't you claim you don't know these people i mean you don't know about but you know the other people and you are even able to tell your mom all of these things yeah there's something that is fishing so i'm gonna go ahead and read the you know the post and I will read that of Mubat, the, re the reply on Punch newspaper. And uh, but before then, um, I've seen um, I think um, Queen Mother. She's joining this platform for the very first time. Queen Mother, thank you so much for joining um, the Each Talk platform. It's actually one of the big, big and one of the great platforms fighting for justice for Mubat. Um, what we do here is that we analyze, we try to talk, and we try to encourage ourselves. And um, I mean, those people who are genuinely fighting for justice for Mubat, we try to encourage ourselves. To give up, and we try to also enlighten ourselves on uh, how we can actually learn uh, uh, it, something that revolves around them um, justice for mobile. It's been an amazing journey going to five months now, and um, you know, um, it's it's been it's been nice, it's been nice having um, beautiful people fighting for justice for mobile. Uh, I want to say a big thank you for joining here. Uh, before I go ahead, do you is there anything you want to say as it's you know to encourage people that are genuine? fighting for justice for mobile is there anything you want to say to encourage people yeah just like i said fighting on justice for mobile um just like i used to say okay before you go ahead um there are ground rules that we place on this platform and uh, one of the ground rule is that um 
number number one um personally i don't have the right nobody has the right to talk negative against baba mubad you cannot abuse baba mubad if you're if you're in the comment section or something you cannot abuse baba mubad you cannot speak negative about baba mubad and you cannot abuse mubad's father the second ground rule is that um on the kind of distraction level we don't talk about um spending and prime boy um for reasons known to us on this platform and the third rules and regulation is that uh, we don't abuse um you cannot speak negative and you cannot cause and you cannot abuse um liham which is actually uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the the one of the innocent because there are two innocent um, people as um, it concerns um, just um, this uh, issue that is going on. We have Baba Mubad and um, we have uh, Liam. These are two innocent people. You cannot say anything negative about them. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is there any word of encouragement you want to give to people before we go into the the program? I uh, before we go into the program fully. Yeah. You want to give word of encouragement? I'm seeing you on this platform for the very first time. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this platform. Thank you. You're welcome. One or two okay. minutes. Thank, thank you. Good morning. A good morning. Sorry, can you hear me very well? Yeah, we can hear you very well. Okay. Good morning, Vegetable Island. Um, Andy Olaide. Good morning, everyone. And to the comment section. Good morning. Um, I'm joining your life. I uh, mean, the panel for the first time. I always come in and out. I I don't abuse. I don't abuse anybody. Why I came to the platform is just to to to, to encourage you and to say thank you. I have been seeing all the good work you'll be doing. Your platform is very quiet. Very educative, very professional, quiet and peaceful, you know, and that is what we want. If you are looking for justice for good bad, you have to be peaceful, you have to do it the right way. Don't abuse anybody, don't curse anybody, which I don't do. I have never, you know, say negative thing about anybody, either Baba Mubad or Liam or Wumi or Prime Boy or anybody. So I don't do that. and. At the same time, I'm not in anybody's thing. I'm a neutral person. I'm 60 years old. I can't do all those kind of things. I'm not in anybody's group. I'm just a neutral person. So if you see the comment section say, oh, she's meeting, she's meeting, it's because I don't abuse and I don't talk negatively to anybody and I, I don't accuse anybody. Thank so that's so. why they are saying, oh, she's weak because they are. Some of them are confused. They don't know where I belong, but I'm a neutral person. So thank you so much and keep it up. Your, your platform is very peaceful and I like that. Thank you so much. God bless you. So I have to go now. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you. I will be on the comment section. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, ma'am. God bless. Thank you so much um, for the compliment. It is not just to me alone. It is to amazing people on this platform. I have beautiful commenters. I have beautiful panelists. Um, I've always said whenever anybody receives compliment on this platform, it's not just about this small little shikini big head boy. It is to everybody on this platform. It is to everybody who is fighting genuinely for the cause of justice from work. Once again, I want to say a big thank you to you um, for the words of encouragement. Thank you and thank you and thank you again. Um, it is well appreciated and every one of us will never um, take it for granted. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, um, you. thank you. So um, I, I would like to go um, further. So let's let's read. You know, there was a reply um, by the legal team of Mubat's father yesterday, and um, we're going to read this. And um, let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Now, this is the write up that um, prompted the reply by the legal team of Mubat's father. Just one minute here. Thank you. Yeah, this is the okay. Okay, 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 thank you. This is the the message on the Instagram. Yeah, this is the screenshot from the Instagram. And um, I'm gonna read it, then we're gonna go to the reply on the on Punch newspaper. Now, they silenced my husband by spreading rumors that he was on drugs. And now they've been targeting me by releasing a voice note I recorded a few years ago for the med for medical purposes, they are attracting. I mean, they are attacked, attacking by libeling him as illegitimate. My husband was messed up mentally, psychologically, and physically. 
if he had continued speaking publicly about his challenges, yeah, if he had continued speaking publicly publicly about his challenges, perhaps he would still be alive today. I wish he had summoned the courage to come publicly as many times as he could. But he didn't want anyone to see his vulnerability. He was a gentle and a calm soul. Second paragraph. Making a man feel inferior, making him live in fear, assaulting him publicly, amongst other, is what they subjected my husband to. The last time they attacked him, I begged him to speak out, but he felt powerless against the influence of the industry gods. Page 2. Mugad would have sought medical treatment after his injury if he didn't live in constant fear. He avoids hospitals because he believed the medical system could be compromised and the doctors bribed to harm him. I know a lot. I know a lot, but they won't allow me to speak the truth. Your favorite fake activists and bloggers can continue defaming me, but I pray God rewards them for their actions. If they eventually kill me like they did Mobad, just know I said it. It may not be direct. So many, th so many things have happened since I lost my husband, yet I can't speak. I am helpless, but I know God will see me through this. I want the whole world to know that I tried to speak up just as my husband always wanted to, but they bullied him to silence as they are currently doing to me. Page three. Uh, yeah, page three. The DNA issue is one that has brought tears to my eyes and pain to my heart. And my legal team has advised me not to dignify anyone with a response. However, I feel compelled to address the misconception arising from my silence. Let me clarify. There has never been any doubt or discussion about Liam's paternity until my husband's demise. It is disheartening to hear false narrative circulating on social media. My husband never for once questioned the paternity of our sunshine. I think that is referring to Liam, right? Okay. During his lifetime. And neither did my father-in-law or his families. For the first time I heard about his doubt was on social media. I go, uh, I go over that again, yeah? Sorry for my... The first time I heard about his doubt was on social media. He never spoke to me personally about the DNA till this very day. My father-in-law's legal team reached out to my legal team who sent them, I mean, who then gave him the terms and conditions in which the DNA will be conducted. Page four. Where is page four? Yeah, page four. Since November, I have been waiting for a court order to proceed with the DNA testing. However, I am now being asked to take Liam to my father-in-law so the test can be done. Which of you will take your son to such a man in these circumstances? Okay, let me just go ahead and read, yeah? So that we'll be able to understand. The reason why I'm doing this is so that we'll be able to understand the reason why the legal team of Mubat's father actually responded um I, I hope we are picking something is happening and we'll continue to to kind of dive in and and analyze things as they were back in september that we wouldn't have caught because we were too busy you know sort of being um uh we were too busy with the tension and trying to figure out what's happening why did that happen whose fault is this now we've got the time to kind of analyze sit down relax and really take it all in because that will lead us to where we need to go um i'm not too concerned about spending i think that we need to understand that there are people who uh were around mobad and who we thought might be able to help us in this case who might be compromised and that's okay i i don't mind that um I, i'm i'm of the understanding that these people are young but they also need to take responsibility for their 
uh, participation in what transpired. Anyway, I'm going to meet now because otherwise I'll keep talking. Hi, mm -hmm. Andy. Hi, Queen Mother. Hi, Olaide. It's fine. I know you were not interrupting me. You didn't know your mic was on. <laughs> and I'm going to meet. Okay, thank you so much, um, uh, Vegetable Island. Thank you. Um, welcome back from the short holiday. Personally, I miss you, and um, I was asking um, Vegetable Island, Vegetable Island. I thought probably you went on vacation with your original husband because uh, I'm a social media husband. So oh. I was like, oh, she's on vacation with the original husband. So the social media husband should just keep quiet. I should just keep looking at them when she's back when she's had enough fun then definitely she's gonna come to the social media thank you so much and how is your family doing uh i'm sure they are doing great and um help us extend our greetings to your wonderful husband for giving you the time and um you know the freedom to be part of justice for mubad it is not just only you that is part of justice for mubad in giving you the the, the 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 time and the, you know the opportunity to okay do, do don't worry and it's not causing chaos it's not causing problem it is also part of us indirectly so help us extend our uh, 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 greetings to him thank you thank you so much and you know the last time when you were talking you said um he's the one that I always ask now okay what did this person now say what did this person okay what is the update to show that even if he is not on the platform he is listening to us through you thank you so much um, he yeah. always tries to listen when I'm cooking and he's like, oh, okay. Okay, that's what's happening. But then he always asks me before we go to bed, okay, so tell me what happened today and then I'll tell him. But, you know, uh, I, I, next time I will message before I disappear. I'm not going to leave. I'm not just yeah. going to disappear out of thin air. Uh, um, but I will message you guys next time I've got training. I did miss you guys very, very much. Even my husband said, how did you cope an entire two days? I said, you know, I kept thinking about it, but I just I had to be professional and I couldn't log in. So I had to completely log off.